We're big fans of gambling movies, and in our search for some of the better ones, we run into some of the worst films we've ever seen. In our top 5 rundown, or rather bottom 5 I guess you could call it, let's take a look at the 5 worst gambling films of all time. Deal He was a former card shark who's been out of the game for years, and whose life is falling apart due to an impending divorce. He was a young kid with a lot to prove, and even more to learn. When the former pro sees potential in the young novice, he pays for him to take part in the poker championships. But after a sexy Las Vegas call girl gets thrown into the mix and makes our young novice question if remaining with the pro is what he wants, can their now broken friendship be fixed in the last 20 minutes of the movie? You bet it can. We just saved you an hour and a half. Lucky you. Lucky You takes all the cliches you expect to see in a film and throws them all into the pot, creating a stew of a really average film. Eric Banner is a pro poker player who wants to be in the big leagues. He meets his love interest, Drew Barrymore, at a party. She's a struggling singer with a lot of heart and just as much talent. Finally, we meet the father, played by Robert Duvall, who's condescending to his son and is also a better poker pro. The stage is set for a truly weak father versus son story, where, spoiler alert, son beats father in a tense showdown and Drew Barrymore just sort of stands around in the background. You should definitely try and pick this one up at your local blockbuster as soon as possible. LC raises to 50,000. David folds. Josh is out. Jason folds. Frank folds. The Runner. A young gambling addict tries to fix up his life and pay off his huge gambling debts by going to rehab and getting a steady job so he can solve his problems and move on and build a life with his girlfriend. Oh sorry, that's what someone who wasn't a moron would do. In The Runner, our young gambling addict goes to work for the mob as a runner who runs around town placing bets on rigged sports events for local gangsters. He ends up making a bad choice but strangely, not by taking up gambling again. In fact, when it comes to his gambling addiction, he manages to get over it pretty well, considering the circumstances. His big mistake is stealing money from his mob boss to buy a ring for his girlfriend and then putting both of their lives in danger. We're sure she'd have been happy to wait a couple of months until he's back on his feet, but oh well, the contrived movie plot must go on. Hit me. A Swell Looking Babe is a 1954 novel from Jim Thompson that follows the journey of a young man working as a bellboy in a hotel. The novel details his inner struggle as he tries to make sense of his life. Hit Me is the movie adaptation that struggles to keep up with the novel, as it aims to recreate the inner thoughts of its characters from the book by having long expositional voiceovers detailing the characters' inner thoughts. The problem is that the actors have nothing to do while all this is going on. Instead of watching some poorly delivered voiceover and seeing actors pull faces to run out the clock, our advice would be to read the book instead. Oh yeah, and there's some gambling in it as well. Still read the book. All In All In has been left until last because in our opinion it should always come in last place, no matter the list it's in. All In takes the cliches of the standard poker movie and dials it up to 11 with even the title being played out. I'm all in. All In has the young buck origin story, the love interest, the shady doctor, the dead dad coming back to life, and basically every other terrible plot point you can think of. This film is a mess. It looks ugly, the acting is horrible, and every plotline is resolved as quickly as it's dropped in. You may wonder where all the poker even comes into play, and the truth is, it doesn't. There's disappointingly little poker in this poker-themed film, so it even failed to deliver there. All In went all in and was a complete bust. Wow, so the film's even got us doing cliches now too. That's just how bad it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching our list of the worst of the worst gambling movies ever made. We're just starting out here, but we'll have new videos every week. So check back in with us then. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.